Hello everyone, this is 3DX. Before I start today's video, I just want to give a quick thank you to Gaomon for sending me this really cool graphics tablet. The tablet you can use for pretty much everything. I connected it and I was able to use it with Photoshop uh, and ZBrush. So the uh, pen pressure works really well. So I'm really liking the tablet so far. I really like the surface and the pen pressure and all of that. I think it works really well. And I also like that you can customize a lot of the buttons. So to test it out, I decided to use it for the entirety of this video. So all the sculpting that I do in this video, I use this tablet. And honestly, I like it so much that I think I'm going to switch to this as my main tablet for now. If you're interested in the tablet, there's going to be a link in the video description. It's a good tablet for the price in my opinion. But anyway, let's go ahead and start the video. Hello and welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be creating another stylized model. Uh, in this case, I'm making a... Uh, I guess I would say it's a turtle or maybe a tortoise. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, so I'm going to be making that today. And like I was saying earlier, I'm using the uh, that Gaumon, uh tablet for this. Uh, just because I really like it. I wanted to test it, obviously, just to make sure that it works fine. And I found that it does work pretty well. So anyway, I'm going to be creating this uh, specifically in ZBrush first, just to sculpt it out. And then I'm going to retopologize it and it's going to clean it up a, a little bit. Now I don't really do too much, um, don't usually do a lot of uh, organic creatures in particular. Uh, it's not really my expertise. I usually make mostly uh, hard surface stuff like props and stuff like that and environmental um, things. So, not gonna lie, I haven't done a uh, like a creature or organic creature in a really long time. So, it's just a little bit of practice for me here as well. And as always, I would definitely recommend uh, if you're following this to spend a lot more time than I do. Typically, I try to keep these videos somewhat short so that uh, uh, whoever's watching uh, gets the idea, but... I always highly recommend spending a lot more time than I do to kind of like polish it and make the model look a lot better. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be mostly sculpting it in ZBrush and then I'm going to clean it up and export it to Maya so that I can retopologize it. Now with ZBrush 2020, um, there are some tools that you can use to retopo, so you can try that as well. But in this case, I just used uh, Maya for that. And I'm using a lot of Dynamesh uh, to get the main shape, uh, just the basics. And obviously I also added the uh, concept art uh, here on the screen using the uh, spotlight. And it's just the image that has been added there as a spotlight. And then to add some of the details, I'm using mostly the clay buildup. I find that it works pretty well for you know, building up shapes. Especially when you're just get, getting the uh, uh, silhouetting and the, just the shapes in there. It's not necessarily the best for like finalized uh, details. And I'm just using the uh, damp standard as well, just to get some of the uh, finer details as well, like lines. Like I said, I highly recommend you spend a lot more time than I did for the sculpting. Try to keep this a little bit uh, manageable as far as uh, how long the video is, just so that people can follow and get the idea, the general idea. And I'm going to keep it relatively clean uh, because I'm going for a stylized uh, look here. So I'm not going to go too into detail as far as like adding like really micro details to this.
And then for the uh, the spikes here, I just used I just appended a sphere and I just kind of shaped it. And I'm just gonna duplicate that to get a few different ones. Also, this video did take about three hours, I think, so I did have to skip a few sections um, here in the sped up video. So apologies if there's a few time skips here and there. Kind of have to do that whenever I make a video that takes a little bit longer than usual. So this one took about three hours, which is why I kind of had to skip a few, few steps. But I think you get the general idea. And then for the skin details, I used the damn standard as well. And I'm just gonna draw those in just because I wanted them to be uh, somewhat irregular. So I didn't want them to be really uh, procedural looking. Um, you can also use an alpha for something like this or masking. But in this case, I decided to just go with the damn standard. I didn't think it was gonna take too long. So I just went with that. And then I kept using that same brush for the actual shell details. And then for the shell, I did use a, the masking uh, technique, which is pretty much just masking it and then uh, inflating that section. And I also did that manually as well. And I used a special tool for renaming all the uh, subtools. There's a link in the video description if you're interested in that. Obviously, you can also rename subtools manually. And then in Maya, I did retopologize the model. Uh, I had to skip that section here and skip to the UV uh, portion of the video, but I did use the Maya retopology tools, uh, mainly the Quadra tool. So I did retopologize. I did not use the uh, ZBrush uh, decimated model or anything like that. I did retopologize the model. I did leave the head a little bit too high poly, but uh, I think it worked fine in this case. Now obviously the head itself, there are no elements that animate, so the mouth doesn't really open, the eyes don't really close or anything. So it didn't necessarily have to be too uh, dense in the topology there, so probably recommend lowering that a little bit. And then in Substance Painter what I did is I used the uh, 3DX stylized material, obviously there's a link in the video description for that as well. And I did change a lot of the layers because I did have to change a few settings on the material just to get this to look the way I wanted it to. So in Thompson's paint there was mostly kind of like painting in some spots. And these were also painted manually. Now you could use uh, ID maps for stuff like this as well. But either way, you will have to paint them in something like ZBrush as well if you were going to do that. Then I also add like a gradient on the, for the legs so that the bottom is a little bit more dirty and the top a little bit cleaner. So that's just the gradient map on that. And then I also added like an edge uh, layer to this. And then I also tested a little bit with adding um, baked lighting to it, but I disabled that 
uh, for the final render. I did not go with the baked lighting look. But anyway, here is the render in Marmoset 2 back. Also, one last thank you to Galmon for sending that drawing tablet. I think it's pretty cool. And there's a link in the video description for that. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll hopefully see you in a future video. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in Unreal, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine. So you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video, so I don't have enough time to explain everything. So click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.